Tonight is February the 2nd, 2019, and uh, I had a, a number of questions that on a video I posted the other day about this little um, <clears throat> USB sound card. This right here, I'm going to keep the camera as steady as I can here. Let's go there and take a look at it. Let's zoom in on it a little bit. Uh, it doesn't have to be this brand. This is a Focusrite. It can be a Behringer or whatever. I've used several different ones and they all seem to work about the same. You notice the little green lights on right now. That's because I am driving it with a signal. And I'm driving it with a signal from uh, this, this box right here. See, everything's coming in to the breakout box. The breakout box is uh, this guy right here. Where this is comes straight from across the dummy load. The amplifier output is connected straight to the. Uh, I've got to move the camera around here a little bit. The output of the amplifier right here is connected straight up there to those dummy loads, and then uh, from across those dummy loads up there, this wire right here is coming down, and it's the. Uh, the wire that's actually feeding this uh, breakout box over here it feeds everything at once. But because I need so much attenuation to feed that little uh, USB, I've installed this box right here. This is just a big potentiometer in there. It's 110K. It doesn't have to be that. It can be 100K. It needs to be something pretty high though. And if you look around at um, Let's go back over here to the to the little box here. You notice that what I do notice this little green light that come on around the uh, volume. I think it is when I turn this up. See, if I turn it up too high, it goes red. That's overdriving it, so you're going to get a lot of distortion. So you turn it down. That's all the way off, and turn it up there. You see, just just crack it, and you you get uh, the proper amount of uh, of, of drive. proper amount of drive. You can also raise it right here. See, that's too much. So I keep this about in the middle. Turn it all the way down. It goes off, of course. So between the two, you, you set this so that it's at a, a good, green, safe drive level. Okay, now here's what, now that I think that's cleared up, and of course the output of this is a USB connector right here, this blue thing. It goes into the PC, and then we have uh, the software running. Now the software is, of course, where all the magic happens. We got a cable in the way. Let's see if we can put that up. And what we do with this software is, I'm going to adjust. I'll show you in just a minute what I'm adjusting. But uh, there is, a, I have a potentiometer as a balance control in the little amplifier for adjusting the dynamic balance in the output of the 6SN7 that's driving the two EL34s. And you'll see how valuable this is. Let me start the program running. It's running. And as I turn this pot right here, see that second harmonic go up? One uh, right there. Or I can make it go down. If I have to go too far, it goes back up. So if I go set it right, right, right there. That's it. It works. And the THD right now is down at 0.28%. So that's what it's all about. And that's what it's really good for. Now I've got the power down kind of low, only at 11 watts. But I'm not trying to prove a point of how much uh, power I'm trying to get out of it. I also got it set over here at a, at a kilohertz. So you can see the, uh, the value of this little thing and, and the two different softwares that are available. Yeah, right here, what I was doing, I was adjusting this pot right here. This pot right here is a, um, instead of 47Ks, like they, they talk about uh, putting in the 6SN7, that's a very common value, I put in 39Ks at a 40K pot. 
So, uh, there you go. Or 20K pot, I'm sorry. Yeah, so 39K, and if it were exactly in the middle, it'd be a 49K each side. The, the actual value is not necessarily has to be 47K. It's just that the two have to be balanced against the tube so that it's driving the two output tubes properly. That is uh, what was asked most about the video I posted yesterday uh, was uh, that little USB sound card. So I hope this helps answer that question. It, it's just actually, it's absolutely marvelous. And uh, the Arta software is free. I think you you have to pay like 50 or 60 bucks for it if you uh, if you want all the features. You can also see right here, this is 60 hertz. You can see you can trim your pump pot with that. You can see this one go up and down. And trimming the balance pot and seeing this one go up and down. And the uh, the whole uh, uh, profile of harmonics uh, diminish.